Welcome to this quick walkthrough of our lead scoring demo flow. My name is Jeff Matthews. I'm head of enablement at Accio, and I will be walking you through this data set and giving you a bit of an idea of what to look for as you play with it yourself. This is the first flow that will show up for any new users. So hopefully you are a little bit familiar with it. You may have reached this video via the very start page of your trial or from another location. But either way, happy to have you here. Let's take a look. As you can see, this is a data set that is determining whether a lead is positive or negative. Basically, whether a lead is likely to convert or not. It has a lot of basic information that can be useful to determining that. And we have already set it up to go through all of the steps. So right here, you can see we have basic information such as demographic data, job title, years of experience, company size, industry location, etc. And then we have interaction information. So website visits, resource downloaded, attended webinar, email open, close rates, respond to survey, days since last interaction. And then the final one is positive lead. And that's just a one or a zero. You can see a couple of ones here. You're gonna see a lot more zeros. Leads don't tend to be one-to-one -one conversion. <laughs> so here, if we want to take a look at the data, we can always ask it some questions. So let's just ask Chat Explorer. Tell me about this data set. Now, this is a very open-ended question, but it is going to allow Chat Explorer to give me a little bit of information on what I'm looking at. Let's say someone just handed you a new CSV of data and you have no idea what it's about. Asking Chat Explorer these sorts of open-ended questions is going to give you a lot of information right off the bat. All right, you can see, gives us a rundown of what each of the rows is looking like, sorry, columns is looking like. A little bit of information on what the data set can be used for, how much data it has, and that. So nice little bit of information. With this in mind, we can then ask it to do some graphing of anything that we want to care about. So graph positive leads versus attended webinar. And as you probably saw while I was typing, it does have autocomplete. I'm just a little bit old school, so I finished typing it myself. So let's see what we get from this. And as we can see, this is probably one of the most flat comparisons where almost as many people who attended a webinar converted as didn't. So that's going to be a very high value number, which makes sense. It's a self-selecting group of people who are highly interested in the product. So next, let's take a look at predict. You're going to see we've already done a prediction. We are doing positive leads. We have 98% accuracy. You can look in here and see that we're getting mostly true positives and mostly true negatives. So that's a lot of good data, but we've given it a lot to work with. So days since last interaction, website visits, these are all pretty useful. Uh, if we look over here, we are currently just predicting off of this and we haven't changed anything else. This is a view only flow, but an interesting thing that you can do, and you will have the ability to do this on your end, is you can change out and remove some resources here. So you can see all of these self-selecting options that I was talking about, you can remove them and see what more targetable data tells you about it. So actually, why don't I go over here? I'm gonna copy this flow and now I can actually modify it. And we've got resource downloads, website visits, attended webinar, email open click rates, responded to survey, and days since last interaction. So these are all of the things that it's much harder to affect. Obviously, we can have more webinars, but getting people to attend is much more their choice. But location, industry, company size, years of experience, and job title, these are all things that we can target. So we are going to create a model that ignores the things that we cannot as much target, so more of a sales tool than a marketing tool. And let's see what we get from here. So as you can see, our overall accuracy has gone down, but now we can see what these other types of fields have as effects. And they all have about the same amount of effect, and we can click through them to see where we're getting benefits. So executives and managers are more likely to convert. Uh, people with more experience are more likely to convert. People in finance and healthcare more likely to convert. So we have this information to work with 
on the data. So you can see that this data set can actually be used for a couple of multiple things, how people are responding to our current marketing plans or how pe best to target people for future outreach. Anyways, let's continue on. We are currently deploying this to the web app. So you can see here, uh, because I copied it, I need to reattach this, but we have our title. We have some information about it. You can put this in here and you can obviously deploy these to people in your business to use. You deploy it out using the deploy button and it's going to get you to a live web app that you can interface with, adding in you know, different types of things, say 20 years experience, company size, large, and predict. You'll have to predict based on everything, but this will give you some useful information. Anyways, feel free to take a look around this data set, uh, look through the walkthrough that is available on the site as well, and I hope you find some useful tools here. Anyways, I hope you take a look around this data set, find some use in it, find some analogs so that you can use your own data, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thanks.